Chic, and you're watching Chic TV. Oh, so today, today are we? I'm coming to you guys with a hair video, a hair video, because a lot of people want to see me do my hair videos. Like, so they always ask me, "I should come." Oh, what are you doing? So if you guys don't know, I do dye wigs. I dye wigs, I clean wigs, I revitalize wigs, and sometimes I even make wigs. I just love wigs. I love dyeing them. I just love everything. But, so today's video, today's hair video is gonna be me bringing back to life my cousin's wig, her first day of school wig, and dyeing it another color and making it wearable for Christmas so I might be coming to you guys with a couple of these videos because uh, I have a couple of people that want me to dye their hair for Christmas different colors different styles different ways ombres solid colors bold colors rainbow colors lit colors bleaching colors highlights all that so um sorry so I will be taking you throughout the process of me dying oops the process of me dyeing the wig, cleaning the wig, and straightening the wig. Yeah, straightening the wig so yeah, I can see everything or whatever. So I'm gonna show you guys the wig. It is this 613. It is a full lace wig, but I'm trying to see if it's. A, I'm gonna see. I don't know for sure if it's a 360 because she wore the ponytail as lace. It's a whole bunch of lace in the back and it's. Lace in the front, and I'm gonna just say it's a full lace. Yeah, at this point, because it looked like a 360, but a full lace is a, basically a 360 with the whole lace all the way around. So, yeah, this is her 613 wig. Uh, I think it is 22 or maybe 24 inches because you know she wore the ponytail, so you gotta be that long or whatever. And, um, Check out through the process of me dyeing it, cleaning it. Cause as you can see, system take care of it. But yeah, it's not gonna be that hard because the back isn't really got doesn't really have that much gunk. You can see still his makeup and stuff. So I'm gonna clean all that off. This video is gonna be kind of like a beginner video because it's like it's not really that hard to do. It's not that many steps. It's like really literally like boom boom bow bang boom like two three steps like because i know some of y'all be wanting to do this and y'all be wanting to spend all that money on some crazy person that's gonna charge y'all a hundred dollars just to dye a wig or a hundred dollars just to yeah like a hundred dollars just to dye a wig like come on my prices are never i don't think i will ever bring my prices up to that be that high to dye a wig like it's never that serious it's never that serious to dye a wig something you could basically do at home but <laughs> kind of me if you <laughs> You feel like you can't do it, but I feel like everybody can do it. But you know, my stuff will be in the link down below my hair page and everything. So, um, yeah, I will be taking you guys through the process of me transforming this wig basically. Transform this wig. That is what I'm about to do. The video, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna do, and yeah, this is the one. Silver, hmm. it's gonna be like silvery platinum gray color. So yeah, um, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to wait to drop this video until after she gets her hair done. Cause, but that's way all the way to Christmas. From Christmas time, so. No, I'm just dropping the video probably like tomorrow or whenever I finish editing it. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do today. Hair is on the menu. Okay, so see you in the next clip. So guys, right here, I'm just showing you what you're going to need. So of course you're gonna need your wig. Yep, yep, yep. Also the toothbrush to clean it and alcohol 91 percent to be exact and i got my ipad because you know so i won't be bored i'm watching a show on 
Amazon Prime called, what is it called? It's called Grim. As you can see right now, I am um, going to start brushing out the hair in a second. Yeah, so right now I'm brushing out the hair. I'm showing you the lace right now because it's dirty and it has glue and makeup on it. I'm going to remove the glue right now after I get all the hair out of the way. So right now I got the alcohol, 91% alcohol. I'm going to spray on the lace. I'm going to spray enough on the lace to saturate it so the glue can loosen up. And then once I do that, I'm going to take my handy dandy purple toothbrush and start to scrub and brush all of the excess glue off. So guys, what I'm doing here is filling a pot up with water and I'm going to take it and put it on the stove and let it get hot. Not too hot to where it's like boiling, but like really, 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 really hot. So as I let that boil, I switch over angles and now I'm wetting the wig. So when I dip it in the water, it all of the hair will get like how can i say evenly well at least try to get most of it to get color it's like already be saturated and wet and everything will just melt together now i'm brushing it out so it won't be all clumped together shimmer lights i'm using shimmer lights this is i feel like this is the best um well tone remover well toner tone remover whatever you want to call it to take the yellowish the really yellow looking undertone out yeah tone remover i'm gonna call it that i'm gonna call it a tone remover so it can remove all the yellowish color so right now i'm just adding the shimmer lights to it as i'm feeling adding more water but i'm adding colder water so it could cool down the water because you don't want the water to be too hot to where it fries and dries out your hair. And also guys, don't, <laughs> don't mind my arm over here looking like crackhead Bobby because I'm letting my nails grow out and now I can scratch my arm, it be feeling so good. But yeah, don't mind my arm over there. So what I'm doing now is I'm dipping the hair into water and um, letting it sit. And as you can see, it's slowly but surely taking out that yellow undertone and it's becoming more ashier, more platinum-y color. I'm just over there rolling it around, dipping it, pulling it out, checking on it, looking at it. So at this point, it was like really irritating me because it wasn't coming the color I wanted. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just drop it on top of the hair, like on top of the hair. And as you see, once I did that, as you can see, like the hair is fading away quickly and so fast, like it was turning silver or how you can say platinum right then and there as I was adding it on top and just going like that versus trying to be careful and do the water method and like let, let it slowly but surely come to the color I wanted. So I was just like, bruh, you know what? I ain't got time for this. So I just pulled it on top. And that's what you see me right now, pulling it in my hand, rubbing it in my hand, and just going through it. Going through the um the hair. Not oop, the comb slip. So now I'm just combing it through, trying to get it on all the hair. So I won't have no blonde or well platinum patches so it could be more great because that shimmer lights the shimmer lights can take your hair from a yellow 613 all the way to a silver gray color so that's what i was trying to do at this point right here in the video
Now, as you see right here, um, it looks a pretty gray silver color. But as soon as I um, as soon as I had took the hair and washed it off, it it's like the color came off with it. Like it was no longer that color. As you can see, it's more of a. It has like hints of gray in it, but like there's not. It's not the whole thing is in gray. It's more so ash blonde with gray highlights. That's basically what it looked like. And I was just like, oh my gosh, let me try it again. So I'm just repeating this step over and over again until I basically got that up. And was like, you know what? I got a trick for this. I got a trick for this. I'm always prepared. OMG, man, look at my elbow. Like, oh my God, look at it, you. So remember how I said I'm always prepared? I'm always prepared. So I went and got my handy dandy Adore dye in platinum. And I'm just pouring that in the water, the hot water. And just mixing it in, mixing it in, mixing it, mixing, it, mix, mixing it in, and then I'm gonna take titanium and do the same, and just keep on mixing and mixing and mixing. So I'm going to take the hair after I finish adding how much I feel is necessary, and dip it inside of there and see what color it gives me. And it started giving me that color I wanted, but it just wasn't dark enough because you know once the hair dried it's going to become lighter it's going to become lighter so I want it to be look when I dye I want it to look really dark because once you dry it's going to become two times lighter than what the color it is as it the color it is while it's wet so right now I'm just looking and see it's getting that color that I want y'all look at it look at it look at it, look at it, look at it. So right now I'm letting the water out and I'm going to actually add more water, new clean water, and add, cause I was running out of the um, the gray dye. So I just took the shimmer lights because that it also makes it a gray color and add it into the mixture and use that as a replacement for a gray dye. And came out to the color I wanted and that's what you have to do to get this color. So now I'm going to blow dry and spray out that hair. So you're gonna need a wig brush. Um, a comb. I had put on my bonnet because that hair was just too much for me. The wig, of course. Blow dry. Yes, sir. The flat iron of your choice. My mom got this at the mall. Some man convinced her that he gave her a deal and this was a very expensive flat iron. It's really good. It just doesn't get as hot as I want it to, but it's, it's, it's a really good flat iron. and bio silk this is heaven for a straight hair matter of fact any hair it gives it so a type of softness got this from erica j i love her now i'm just gonna put the wig on the wig head and start blow drying and straightening out the hair the rest is self-explanatory and i'm going to style it also at the end